The best aspect of any website is displaying products, services, completed jobs, etc. So, what we've done is set up a gallery on your website where you can add as many galleries as you want. You are not limited to the number of galleries that you can add, and you can also add as many images to each gallery as you want. Initially, when you created your website, you were limited to 10 images, but, if you go into the Special Pages menu and then the Gallery link you will actually be confronted with the first gallery you added, which is named Main Gallery, and we can now add more images to this gallery, or start creating new categories slash galleries. We request that you always keep the Main Gallery active. If you are not completely happy with the initial 10 images, or if you would like to add more images to your main gallery, then this is where you would do it. To add or edit your initial gallery, please click on the area where it says 10 images. You can now go even further with some extra SEO by adding text blurbs under each image, since there are various settings that you can change, such as image tags, whereby you can group certain images together in tags, and even add alternate text to your images, and even add an image link to each image, which you can redirect users to a specific page on your site, or add any hyperlink you want the image to redirect to. You can specify if the link opens on a new page or on the same page, and you can even see how many hits your images have had. Before we go back to our categories, you'll see at the top of every gallery there's an area where you can add a YouTube or a Vimeo URL. Now, we don't promote this part of the website, because obviously, not everybody has YouTube or Vimeo. But if you do have a YouTube or Vimeo account, you can add your video links here, and it will add your video to this specific gallery slash category. You could also make a video gallery without any images, to showcase just videos, by removing all the images in a category, and simply following the process of adding a link to your videos. Once you're done with adding slash editing these images, click on Save and Close, and you will be taken back to that main gallery images page. This is where you add more images to your gallery. You can either click on Browse, or select your images from a folder, and drag them to this area. Simply click on Upload Images, and once they have been uploaded, the thumbnails will appear, and you can then decide if you want to optimize the images for search engines, or if you want the gallery displayed as is. If you would like to create a new gallery, click on the back button at the top of the page, so now we are back at the categories page. We first need to click on the new category button. Here we have to give the category a title, so let's say that this would be a product gallery, so you can just add our products as the title. We have added five different profiles for you so that you have different options for your gallery's layout. The default layout is the popular metro layout. We also have the slideshow layout, a grid layout, a masonry layout that looks like bricks, and then a justified layout where all the images would be justified to the width of the page and finally a box grid layout. You can play with these settings and see exactly what layout you prefer. The one that you initiated your website with is the popular metro layout, however, all of these will give you a different layout, and the resulting layout remains a matter of choice. Here is the parent gallery option. It's important to keep your main gallery always as the parent because all your galleries are subcategories of your main gallery. If somebody goes to your gallery page, they will see the new categories above your main gallery. So you can either remove all the images from the main gallery and only have your newly added subgalleries displayed, or have a combination of both. You can leave the main image setting to use the first gallery image as it is not necessary to select a menu image unless you want to add a specific image for the galley's category thumbnail. The status must be published for it to be viewable on the website, and next, you've got the option of adding a menu image description for adding a brief description under your category menu image, and you have a second description box that would actually be viewable once you've clicked on the gallery's category thumbnail in question. You can also add meta descriptions for your gallery, which is by default the gallery description, so leave it blank if you are happy with the text. Once you are done with adding your category, go back to the top of the page and click on Save and Close. Before your new category is added to the site, you need to first click on the Images link in the row of your new category, 
and then add the images for this category on the Add Images section on the new page. Once your images have been added, click on the backlink at the top of the page and your new gallery will be automatically added to your website. At any stage, you can come back to this area and modify any images, change images, delete images, add new ones, add more categories, etc. Thank you for following this tutorial.